What's up everybody, Ruba Garcia with Find Fayetteville and I'm with Lacey Crime. Lacey. Yes. If you don't mind, tell everyone who you are, what you do, how you do it, and all that good jazz. Oh goodness, who I am. I am a mother of four, full-time muralist. I also have another little side business, a cookie one. It's a long process of communicating with the um, clients, knowing what they want, getting their vision. Um, sketching it down digitally and then projecting it if I have to or hand yeah. painting it this one was not projected this was all hand measured so yeah wow yeah and as you come in here I mean it is precise to be hand measured and on the other side we have some uh, painting of some clouds as well so what 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 why, why even painting like what got you started in painting okay um so I know exactly when I started painting I was pregnant really? with my second child in 2013 um, and I remember I went to my friend's house and she had painted letters on her room um, it was like themed and everything a cowgirl theme and I remember thinking like I could do this mm. or I wanted to try and see if I can do it so I've never painted before that really? and yeah crazy right yeah like I've always drawn and everything but I've never painted I thought painting was scary and so I went to Hobby Lobby I got letters and some craft paint and went to town on it. I posted it on social media and a lot of friends from there wanted their kids' rooms painted, like their uh, letters, mm, sorry. There you go. Their kids' letters painted, so yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so you got started in the, the I guess the, the kids' the bedrooms. Decor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, and then once you started to, so that's cool. Do you still have that picture? I still have the letters, yeah. They're in my oh, daughter's room. Yeah, they were like wooden letters that you just buy, like cut out oh, letters. So. Oh, okay. And then like, they'll give me bedding to match and I'll match the bedding and paint it on their kids' names, so. Right, and then just from the love of the internet from you doing that, you were like, man, this is something I now wanna do? Yes, I definitely wanted something where I can make a little bit of money. Um, I went from working, you know, I was in the military to a stay-at-home mom. I had no income and I worked my entire like what ever since I was 14 till yeah. then so I just I was itching to do something besides just being staying at home mom so yeah um, it yeah it definitely brought in a little bit of money but I wanted to do more and so throughout the years I was just I was getting tired of just painting small so I had like the nerve to go practice on my son's room and do a little like space theme mural and I posted on social media and from there I had other people really interested in their kids rooms being painted so that's how that started that was back in like I think 2018 is when I first painted that wow so. wow so it's been like a rocket ship ever since yeah. what do you so you tried something new never really done it before but thought you could do it then you could do it was there any point in the beginning where you're like man this although I enjoy it it's never going to become a reality of something I can do like huge murals and and everything else that's going to come with it in the future absolutely yeah yeah and then what did you do to like move past that for any of the listeners like man because some of the listeners yeah. may be stuck there you know i'm trying to think um i definitely didn't have the confidence i didn't think i had the what is it called <laughs> goodness what is it imposter syndrome oh yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. i was like there's no way i could do this full time there's no way i can make this kind of money yeah. um but no it took I think working with the five pillars mm -hmm. and I was making, you know, 10 bucks an hour, but I was paying my kids like to be watched from a sitter. So I was really making like four bucks an hour. Gross. <laughs> before taxes. It was <laughs> before taxes. <laughs> and I, I honestly, I saw the drive and the passion that that team had. I didn't have the same passion with what they were doing, but right. it motivated me. It really mm -hmm. did. So when I stopped working for them, I, had that like drive that I saw from them and I was like you know what I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna go ahead and just put myself out there reach out to people which I never would have done yeah. um, because in my mind it's like the worst they can say is no I never got the job to begin with so just go out and do it yeah and it really worked in my favor so Fowler's Southern Barbecue was the first 
outdoor mural that I painted. Yeah. First commissioned mural, I should say. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. yeah. I think we got that video because I stopped by. So Yay. if we got that video, I'll do like a, a quick little B-roll over it. Um, but yeah, no, I told a lot of people do run into that challenge and you were able to push through it, but it sounds like it was more of the environment. Like you had to surround yourself with other people who were chasing something big. Yeah. No, yeah, I think I needed to see that and I, I needed to see that they could be successful doing mm. what they were passionate about and I'm motivated by money just like they're motivated by money. And yeah. so I knew that art and painting was something that I was really good at and something I want I wanted to do for, you know, years to come. So yeah. only, yeah, I just stuck with that and I kept pushing and breaking barriers and yeah. If you know where the old Fowlers is, you should go check it out. The, Are they still... Well, it's a new, yeah. it's a new uh, business now, but they still have your painting. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. The mm -hmm. painting is still out there. So wow. if it's still out there to this day, I don't know when you're watching this, but it's a really cool painting. How did that first door knock, essentially cold door knock for Fowlers, how did that go? So it was actually my friend, Rebecca Fowler. She reached, she messaged me saying, hey, I know someone that really would love to have some kind of public mural on their um, side of the fence. And I told him about you and here's their information. Mm. Normally, I wouldn't have even reached out because I'm like, well, if they want something, they want me to do something, then they'll reach out to me. And oh, I was like, yeah. you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just reach out to them. And yeah, it was a lot of stepping out of my comfort zone for each new customer um or i want to say client for each new client and um yeah and so then they re responded back and we just went back and forth and talked about budget and design and i gave them back a design they liked it and we went ahead and did it so yeah that's where it started and then like i just felt that it's an addiction yeah. <laughs> it was like once you got that first commission mural like i just wanted yeah. to go do the next one go find the next yeah. one so yeah in real estate or at least for the people who join our team we call it your belief check like it's that first check that first thing that happens you're like oh my gosh i believe now i can actually yeah. do this and then you start getting hooked but it's definitely that confidence factor how much have you learned from that point from that fierce because i, I think i sent you a picture maybe and you were like oh i don't want to see that mural and, and i was like oh i love it but like how much have you learned from that first mural to where we're at now goodness uh it's a night and day yeah. um because i didn't have like i wasn't big on instagram back you know a few years ago and i had no idea that there was such a community of muralists out there that i could reach out to and we have our own group chats now we have um a lot of support with other muralists and so when I first started, I just Googled everything, YouTubed everything, because I had no right. idea what paint do I use, you know, what, how do I project this, or what is the best way to do this? And so it was a lot of trial and error in the beginning, and now it's, it's good that I've learned the hard way on some things. Um, I think that's made it a lot better, but yeah. Right. What, so do people reach out to you and say, man, I want to do that and then now you've become a teacher or like are you getting are you starting to get that feedback now uh yeah I have a lot of other aspiring muralists who right. want to just kind of like shadow me and um I did have someone in Raleigh who shadowed me or to help me out she really wanted to get out there and get her confidence up and just have some experience and um that was really great and so now she reached out again like hey if you have any other big murals let me know like I'd love to help out so it's been a good, and then just building those relationships as well. Like I'd love to help out other artists because I didn't have that when I was just starting out. So it was, yeah, it's good. That's cool, man. I mean, they say, you know, one of the biggest, greatest feelings you can have is giving back, mm -hmm. especially something that you've learned is just to give back to the community. Do, are you still offering that for anybody who may be interested? Not, not having them flood you, of course. And then you have a room full of people just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But is that still something? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer, um, especially if it's like a large project that I have a lot of color blocking to do, mm -hmm. then totally come on and help me just lay some color down and uh, ask questions along the way. I'm happy to do that. Um, That's cool. So they can actually lay color down with you. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that will help me out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> help me in the beginning, and then I'll touch the details up after. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, what's next for you? What What do you What, what do you see? Because this has been, like I said, it's been like a pretty strong growth. Now, what's yeah. next in the next, let's say, year to five years? Um, I just want to keep painting large. I want to go larger and larger. I love staying large scale. This is a forty-three foot wall, so 
this is where I get most excited is by painting just really large murals and especially public. I love painting outdoors with, and I'm scared of talking to people, like not people, I'm scared of public speaking, but I can be in front of hundreds of people in public painting a mural and just be happy and in my element. Yeah. And I love talking to just random strangers coming by and right. asking questions. So no, I love to do public art. What don't you like about the mural? industry the mural business your mural business taxes <laughs> taxes we were just talking about this <laughs> um, i'm with you on that I'm trying to think what i don't like if you do have questions about taxes hit us up or, or <laughs> Him, not me. we'll figure it out <laughs> just definitely there's ways to uh to uh give more money to the community than to taxes at yeah, time I guess, so yeah the business side i guess we were just talking about that too yeah. like it's yeah. I love painting. Like yeah. I don't like the behind the scenes. I love, you know, talking with my customers and seeing, you know, their visions and everything. But beyond that, the business side, I don't care for. But yeah. I have to do it because it's a business. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. yeah. And you'll get and, and just like with everything else like riding a bike, you're going to get better at that. Yeah. What is uh Oh, where did that question go? Oh. What's your most favorite? Like what's the, and I know you probably get this question a ton, but what is the, the mural that stands out the most to you? And it could be like an emotional attachment or like this huge breakthrough you didn't think you could do, but what is that mural that sticks out the most to you? Well, okay, so the Great Wolf Lodge, I did a restoration mural for them and it, it was the entire water park mural was just kind of coming apart and I've never done color matching or tried to match someone else's style. So I was really scared mm. of not making it look like it was the original artist. That was like 15 plus years ago right. when it was painted. Um, so I uh, surprised myself on that because you really couldn't tell the difference. I did a lot of like before and afters and they looked exactly like what it would have looked like. Wow. So I was very happy about that. Um, <laughs> What else was I? I loved the Clayton Fire Department one. That's the one that, that one was huge. huge. That's probably my largest one still. Yeah. Um, and I was really worried about everything <laughs> because yeah. you know the town is very proud proud of like what they have and their history. And so I just really wanted to make sure I got it right. And yeah. um, no, but it was really good. It turned out well. I was surprised myself that I executed it. And yeah. And yeah. crushed it. Yeah, and crushed it. Yeah, 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 no, it was really good. That's the one that sticks out to me, and then Fowler's. Like, I just love that that's, yeah. like, one of your first ones. And I'm more of, like, that OG style. Yeah. I love it, man. Yeah, I love it. good. And then the Mr. Beast one. Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast. Did you? Yeah. I didn't know this. <laughs> I'm not really, because I wasn't allowed to talk about it. Oh. <laughs> Do we take that out? I can. I just can't. I can't post on social media, like, pictures and stuff like that. What? I painted the Squid Game, Mr. Beast. Like this no, you night. didn't. Yeah. If you watch, can you say that YouTube? on this? But no pictures. Yeah. Okay, so we just got some breaking news. This is pretty cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right, say it's it again. Uh, I painted for Mr. Beast the Squid Game um, murals that you see in his little YouTube video. Go look at it. And if you see all the clouds and like the cornfield scenes and everything, we helped paint all that. So. Get out of here. So where? Well, I'm, this might be too many details, but like, where was it then? Did you have to fly out to there? And yeah, I flew out there. Yeah. Um, so I, uh, the project manager reached out to me, and I had no idea who Mr. Beast was. Yeah. And so <laughs> I thought it was like a joke. He's like, "No, it was Mr. Beast. You go on YouTube." And I'm like, and I asked my son. And he goes, "Mr. Beast, you don't know him." <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so I had to go on, you know, Google, and I'm like, "Oh, okay, he's real." <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's real. He's real. He's legit. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't get money though. I didn't no. get a. I didn't get his two case of money. Um, oh yeah, yeah. That's okay. I mean, that's really cool to put your stamp on that. Um, and then I got some questions right after this next question because I saw it at Dirty Whiskey. Do you have certain paintings that you or murals that you do that you put in your own little secret thing that only Lacey, when she comes in, she's like, no one knows. But that's my little secret thing I do to all paintings, or most of them, most murals. No, but you gave me an idea to do that now because that's a really good idea. No, I we wanted that. to just hide um, some Morse code mm -hmm. little messages about Fayetteville in that mural. And so, no, I really like that idea to hide something. Or at least I've seen other muralists who like, you know, like the, the doodle method. Or like instead of like the grid method where it's like squares, you just like do a whole bunch of doodles and like letters and everything. 
No. Okay, <laughs> so people I'll like, <laughs> um, I might do like a doodle method and just do like a whole bunch of messages or like, you know, my name and stuff. And then you paint over it after that. So whatever is laid down on the base coat, that's obviously it's gonna be there. But right. you're just not gonna see it anymore. But no, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, to do something no, like that'd that. be cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. And it'd be always that one thing that you like, man, oh, this is a lacy ball. Oh, let yeah. me, and then, you know, see if we can find it or if, you know, whatever. There'll be a reel, There'll be a reel so you can see what it was yeah. before. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I got some questions for you. You ready? Best compliment you or your business has ever received? Has it been like less of words and more of like, just like you just see like their whole face drop like, what? Yeah. More of that like? Yeah, definitely. And then especially, I, I think kids' reactions are like the real reactions. Oh. So I always get really excited when I see kids like, oh my goodness, yeah. like you're an artist. So, <laughs> you know, kids make me happy. They, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. I love that. Um, best perk of being a muralist, paintist, whatever. Not everyone can do it. Yeah. Um, so you do pay for what you get is what I like to say. It is an investment. So, um, and that's why people say I tried to do it and that's why I'm hiring you because I couldn't do it. So yeah. I think that's a really good quality to have. Yeah, and I think there's 100% it's an investment. It definitely changes the environment, the feel. The everything, the vibe. I mean, this, you've knocked out two of our Airbnbs, yeah. you know, and you've added that extra thing. And some people I know they do take selfies near it and yeah. the whole thing. So I 100% agree with that. Outside your business, what would you tell someone who just came to Fayetteville they'd have to do while they were here? Outside of my business? Yep. So, yeah, I mean, my business, my work is in there, yeah. but I'm not mentioning it just because of my work. The <laughs> atmosphere and everything is just sure. amazing. Yeah, and the Haymount, Truck Stop Haymount is a really nice new addition to Fayetteville. Yeah. If you have not been, you have to go. And it's not just a bar. There's all different kinds of food trucks, and they just um, go in and out. What, they, what is it they filter out every day is a new one every so. day. A couple of new ones, a few ones every day. And then there, there's the back part where the kids can play. They just have everything for the whole family. Yeah. So, yeah, it's great. Yeah, I did a uh, uh, find Fayetteville with them too, so I'll put a link in and you can check out their story as well. It's really cool. Um, is there anywhere else? Have to, like, man, I just showed up here. I got to do it. Lacey said. In Fayetteville. Yeah. Yeah, this is all about Fayetteville. <laughs> it's all about Fayetteville. <laughs> find Fayetteville. <laughs> Obviously downtown. I feel like anything downtown, I just, and they're just doing so much to keep making it better and just adding more things and just all the people downtown are just friendly the business owners like i just love to support yeah, and i love it when everyone else comes yeah to support totally i think i might be done here yeah that's it okay cool all right hold on so if you don't mind tell everyone where they can find you where they can watch your stories your reels they can watch your story where can everybody find lacy crime um, so website LaceyCrimeArt.com It's the same on Facebook, Instagram, Lacey Crime Art. I know no one has the last name Crime, so I got really lucky on getting handle names that I wanted. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, and people think I made the name up. They think it's like a crime podcast and art, which I love crime podcasts. I always listen to it when I paint. Oh. So, <laughs> oh, I like. <laughs> I'm like listening to like yeah, people getting murdered as I'm painting, like relaxing. Um, but no, yeah, it's lacy crime, like you committed a crime, art. Yep, yep. So. And then last question now, because now I'm curious. Would you try any other medium, like tattoos or anything outside? Like Carlos does bleach, like painting. Mm -hmm. it, it w have you thought about any other medium that you would want to move into? And then I'll end it on that. Um, oh, shout out to Carlos. He's an amazing portrait artist yeah. I'm jealous but um yeah, no <laughs> I would love to get into spray so it's it goes still with murals um it I the Lumberton mural I did the really large one I did a lot of spray on that one that was the first time and I, I stepped out of my comfort zone and just tried to spray a lot of it and yeah. it really helped with blending and smoothing and just yeah it helped a lot so I really want to get more into that did you see in uh California that high rise that was supposed to be a hotel or some oh, yeah. and they tagged like yeah. the whole thing spray art like i follow them on instagram and yeah. so they posted that but it was like a few years ago when they had that oh. they're making it seem like it was brand new they're like this has been here for years like oh. i don't know actually huh. <laughs> don't take my word for it huh. but, but yeah, it's no, gorgeous it's it looks cool yeah and like how do you get up there 
Like I wouldn't do that though. No. I have four kids. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you got stuff to lose. I know. But that's cool. So the future could be in the crime art could be some spray paint. Yeah, tagging with crime, yeah. <laughs> I love it, man, I love yeah. it. Well, cool, any last things you wanna throw at everybody before I let you go? Uh, no, thank you for having me. <laughs> of course, and come, look, I'm telling you, like once you start to see some of the murals around town, I want you to look for that lacy crime thing. Get out there and find Fayetteville. Thank you. Mm -hmm.